I wouldn't say I feel old, but I feel different. Ah. But like yeah. 23, I started feeling like, okay, like I'm not really in that realm anymore. But 24, I, I actually feel like not older, but like more of an adult. There's a lot of childish thinking that I'm outgrowing right now. I know myself so much better than I did when I was younger. So I feel like I live my life in a more genuine way. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Like if it wasn't quarantine, and if we didn't have all this time for ourselves, I probably would be scared still about 24. Mm. But I feel like quarantine birthday really put things into perspective for me because it's like, all right, like I have all this leisure time now. I'm now able to learn things that I was saying, oh, I don't have time for it. Even church, like mm. I would never go to church, but I never had time. Well, never had time. Now since it's online, there's no excuses for a lot of things mm. that I've been wanting to do. Quarantine has been good. Just, like I like quarantine. Quarantine has been so good for me personally. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so I just feel like if it wasn't quarantine, I don't know how I would honestly feel about 24. I would actually be pretty sad. The formula of frustrations. So basically it's like when we fabricate expectations or that reality not coming true, that's when you get frustrated with yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's exactly how I set up my life. Now I'm understanding that like, I'm gonna do this, so how will I do this? Not just, yeah. I'm gonna do this in period. Because you're like, forced to be with yourself, like you're by yourself. You're forced you have to be. How much movies? Watch, like, don't you want to do something else? Mind you, like, if you we weren't here, some of quarantine, we would have probably been out spending money that we don't have. Bad. And it's like, we need to save that money. Someone was like, quarantine made me realize I am my own problem. I, it's me, I'm the, I'm the, I don't eat. I like what you said about the, the frustration thing because it's like, I feel like when I was younger, 24 to me looked a lot more accomplished. Yeah, I'm on the path of where I want to go. Like, I'm more sure of what I want in my life. Like, I thought that, like, six years would be enough like from 18 to 24 would be enough time to like save money and maybe move out and do that <laughs> it just looked a lot it just it didn't look like this to me those learning things have set you up for now okay you know what i realized how i messed up in those six years yeah boom like it's time to fix it because i would have been in a different position if i would have just listened to my parents or listened to my friends mm. say. whatever you figure your shit out like it's fine exactly. but for sure but like in our age group now like, you see a lot of different spectrums of people it's like year to year you see people 24 and they still think like they're 20 you know what i mean like yeah. they're still stuck in a mindset but then you see people 24 they're buying a house they already have two kids right. maybe it definitely makes me feel like okay like i am an adult now like 
I am, Facts. but I was 18 or 20 or 22 and somebody I knew had a kid, it's like, okay, you're the odd one out. But now I'm seeing a lot of people get engaged, married. Like I want to talk about like positive stuff too. Like about, uh, There's nothing positive though. Huh? I have nothing positive to say. Hold on. <laughs> you have nothing positive to say about being- one single thing. That's not true. That is not true. Don't say that. Stop it. You have nice things to say. About this age? Yes. No! No, but you're on the path! The slowest path of life! No! <laughs> at least, yo, think about it like this. At if least. You drive, it's a walk. You will drive. At least you have a path now. And there's also like nothing wrong with a little little fire under your butt. Like, ooh, let me go faster, you know? Nothing wrong with that. Because you're on the path, you're doing yeah. the right things. Get a little itch. Because that feeling makes you feel old. Like when you oh. dwell on like, oh my god, I'm not where I need to be. That's what. That's when you start I feeling frustration. Yeah. I was watching this thing and he was saying like, this is for anybody. Like, if you just work hard, period, and do what you need to do, like what you think you need to do, then everything will fall in order. But it's when you're not working on those things. Exactly. And get frustrated. That's what I'm saying with you. You feel, you feel old, but like you're doing everything that you need to do every day. To, to to get where you want to go. You can't you can't be frustrated. You should you should even feel proud because like you're you're doing something every day. So like that's that's an accomplishment because you have a path now. For a long time you were like scrambled, not knowing where you were going, yeah, confused. Yeah, yeah. And like I think you should be thankful now that you're like, yo, I'm on a path. I I have an end goal. You know what really like gives me like when you see people pop off at like 28. You know they were struggling for years. Yeah. Like the Lizzo is really inspiring too because she's well in her thirties. It's like she never gave up. Like it's unrealistic to say like, oh, like you can't be negative, you can't like, you know, be a little insecure about where you're at. But once you realize you're having those thoughts and kind of like step back, mm -hmm. you can only go forward from that. One hundred percent. And being able to be so self-aware is something yes. that we, we're so good at now at twenty-four. And then that makes me excited to be like thirty because I feel like at thirty I'm gonna be so self-aware. I'm gonna be so sure of myself. I'm just gonna be like more 100% me, you know what I mean? Because as I get older, I have no time to be anything else. I wouldn't say I feel old, but I feel different. Uh, feel different. This is a woman. Period. You're looking at a woman. Period. Period. And that's not being 24. That's not being that's 24. Not Back to the vlog. Bye, guys. Bye. Y'all, girl, better, you better get out of there. It's my birthday. It is my 24th birthday, and I'm spending it at home quarantined. I'm just gonna take you along on my day with me. Today is gonna be a fun day. I'm in good spirits. Like, I can't believe I'm 24 years old. It's gonna be a year of progress. Every year is a new version of me. All right. So, I'm gonna take y'all along with me for my day. It's beautiful outside. Like, it's the best weather we've had all year. Today's like 20 degrees, which is like unusually high for today. So, you know, thank God for that. Drank my coffee outside. It was such a vibe. And I'm gonna like get ready and like put some makeup on, feel really pretty today. Maybe take some pictures. Eat, you know, FaceTime my friends. This is gonna just be a great vibe. I think my friends might like drive past my house. They're like, oh, I'll see you later. And like, we never really discussed anything, but like, I know that they're probably gonna like show up um, tomorrow. So, like, if they come, I might let them outside in my backyard and we'll see what goes on. And I'll come back when I'm all ready and done. See you guys soon. <laughs> Sorry. Not much has changed. I've gotten ready. Hair's on bleak. Put on a cute top and sweatpants because I'm not gonna stress my body out on my birthday. You know what I'm saying? Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna make some muffins. Sugar. Very ripe bananas. Ooh, yeah. So we're gonna make chocolate chip muffins. Super easy. You're gonna need two of these because this recipe calls for all that. Salt, flour, baking powder, egg, sugar, very ripe bananas, white and milk chocolate chips. What are you making? Uh, muffins again, but this time I'm gonna make them nicer. Last time was good, no? Last time was kind of burnt. Oh, that's a nice crispy, no? No, this <laughs> crispy means burnt. <laughs>
I don't think I got all of what happened today. It was such a nice, beautiful day. All my friends came to see me. Like all, I have like friends, like different group of, groups of friends and they literally all came to my house and brought me gifts, remembered me and like just made me feel really special today. Even my aunt came and brought these balloons. It was a great day, feeling very blessed and loved. Wonderful day. Um, little tipsy right now because I had a lot of champagne. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys so much.